Hey everyone, Nick Smith here from the SAP Analytics team and I want to give you a quick demo of SAP Lumera with some data samples, some sample data that you can play with here. And the one I'm going to look at here is human resources data. So uh, within the samples uh, section of Lumera, you can hit this try deal with data samples and there's a whole bunch of different samples here and even more that you can uh, connect to online through the SAP Community Network. And we're going to open up this document here with our HR data and do some analysis of our talent within our organization. Great, and once that loads up, we have a, a couple of different views here, and you can see them, a couple of different visualizations you can see along the bottom that I can access that I've, I've already started to work on. So this is a, uh, a document that I've been working on, some analysis that I've already been doing. I want to go and switch over into the Prepare tab and have a look at what this data actually looks like. And this is a section with it where I can take a look at the data and, and manipulate it. I have some data manipulation capabilities that I can play with here. So um, I can quickly see I've got some information about particular employees, their names, the date that they were hired, uh, how they're doing in terms of their ranking. Are they top performers? Have they not been rated yet? Are, are they sustaining their performance uh, over which quarter, what their hire date is, and, and so on and so forth. So for instance, I could uh, come in here and select one of these one of these columns and I have some manipulation capabilities that you'll see on the right hand side where if I wanted to I could rename a column uh, sort filter manipulate this data uh, so that I can get it in a way shape and form that I can then visualize it so let's move over to the visualization tab here and have a look at some of the analysis that we've already started to do and I like this one here where we can take a look at our training budget versus our uh, appraisal rating and so what the top performers are versus the budget that we're spending on on the top performers uh, and have a really quick view of that if I wanted to uh, switch up training budget and uh, uh, let's get rid of training budget and actually add in um, the overall salary for instance I can take a look at the the annual salary for the appraisal rating as well. So just by quickly grabbing a measure from the the left hand side, dragging it over, I can change that chart view. And if the the bar chart wasn't the one I wanted to look at, maybe I wanted more of a, a line chart and you can see a number of the different visualizations up here on the top right hand corner. I can view it that way. Or let's say I, I wanted more of a stacked view and I wanted to add in that training budget as well into the mix. And then you can see that visualization begin to change and morph as I'm asking questions of the data. And now the next mode that I can switch over into is a Compose tab where I can take some of these visualizations that I've created and actually build them out into a storyboard or a dashboard to be able to view them um, and, and interact with them. So I can drag and drop um, various um, visualizations that I've created and you can see this begins to build out this sort of concept of a storyboard and if I wanted to add um, new boards or new pages to this to this view um, I can do do so just by quickly tapping on uh, creating a new board and you can see some of the visualizations I've added. I can even add in some controls here if I wanted to be able to toggle on let's say a, a particular region um, I can add in that so I can just toggle now on the and zero into the area that I want to focus in on and I can name my, my storyboard or my dashboard, save that view. And then finally, once I've created something compelling and I want to share that with my team, I come over here into the Share tab and I can share the data set or the visualizations that I've created or even the storyboard that I've created. Uh, and I can publish that to a number of different sources and even to uh, the cloud. So I can publish and share this information up into the cloud and then share it with other people within or outside of my organization. Thanks for watching.